if we are given a set of n items and we're trying to create sequences of the length of k items, then there are n to the power of k possible sequences. This assumes that we are allowed to have repetitions of those items in each sequence. Let's consider some examples. First, let's say we have our set of items being the letters A, B, and C. So in this case, there is n equal to three items. And we want to create sequences out of these three items of a length of two. So k equals to, is equal to two. That is, create a, a sequence uh, containing two items, choosing from the set of A, B, and C. And we'll go through and, and list them all. We have A followed by A. That is, we're allowed to have repetitions of that item. We could have A followed by B, A, C. Or well, the first item could be B, B, A, B, B, which includes a repetition, B, C, or C, A, C, B, C, C. There are no other possible sequences that we could create from those three items, and that gives us a total of nine possible sequences. And we see 3 to the power of 2 is 9. As another example, let's say that we, a user gets to choose a PIN for a bank card, and they must choose a four-digit PIN. So a four-digit PIN then there are 10 possible digits to choose from for each of those digits we use in the pin. That is n equals 10 in this case. The digits are of course 0 through to 9. And so in this case when we choose the first digit we can select from 10 so we can uh, select 0 through to 9 and then when we select the second digit of our pin, we can also select from 0 through to 9. We're allowed to have repetitions, and so on for the third and fourth di digit in the pin. So in this case, k is equal to 4, and the number of possible pins is 10 to the power of 4, or 10,000. And in fact, you can think about that if we select our four digit pin we could choose 0000, zero, 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 zero or 0001 zero, 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 0002 and so on so the fourth digit in this case is can be one of 10 possible values and then we could do the same but where we vary the uh, the other digits and that would go down to the last possible value of 9999 nine, nine, nine. 10,000 possible values of our pin. As another example, let's consider a keyboard. A standard keyboard, uh, an English keyboard, with a, uh, would normally have a the set of letters, the set of 26 letters, and we want to consider, well, given the, the standard set of printable characters that we can use, how many can we choose from, uh, in particular for choosing or typing in a password? So let's first look at the keyboard and consider that on the keyboard there are 26 letters. And of course, using the shift key, we can have uppercase or lowercase letters. So in fact, it gives 52 possible characters there. There are the 10 digits. So that brings it up to 62 possible printable characters. But there's also some punctuation characters and operators. So the, the 10 punctuation characters above the digits, if we use the shift key, plus those other characters uh, shown in green there. And that totals up to 32 punctuation characters and operators, which typically means on, on a keyboard, 
for the characters that we can use to enter in a, a password, there are 94 characters to choose from. So given that, if we know that there are 94 printable characters to choose from, on a standard keyboard, then consider a question, what if a user needs to select a password of length 8? So a password selection scheme forces the user to choose a password with 8 of those characters. They can only choose from that set of 94. How many possible passwords could be selected if they choose randomly or any possible combination? Well, we have n, the set of items n equal to 94, and we choose sequences of length 8. So the number of possible passwords is 94 to the power of 8. And with a calculator, 94 to the power of 8 is this number, which is approximately, if you look at it, 6 by 10 to the power of 15. Or 6,000 billion possible passwords.